everybody, and welcome back. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you all again. Welcome to my second video. Today, we're going to be doing two things. Cooking and reviewing and analyzing. Well, three things then. Yay! My name's Orca Truth, and welcome to... Okay, today... We're going to be talking about dragon. dragons. That's right, every pony. Dragons. Not many reviewers have talked about dragons yet from My Little Pony. We don't know much about them, sadly. Maybe mean, greedy, hot headed, and yes, anti pony. But some, like the ones in Philadelphia, are kind, humble, heroic, like to slam doors in people's faces. One is a crazed Luna fan. We do know. Some dragons are friendly, like my favorite little dragon, Spike. I've seen many reviews about him, read many things what people think about him. But where did he come from? What kind of dragon is he? We are never going to know because MLP named Spike as a supporting character. Well, that is a load of bull crap. Forgive my little French. What we know about dragons so far is from three episodes of My Little Pony. One, from Dragon Shy, as Fluttershy is doing what she does best, feeding the animals, but one is being a big pain in the ass. And we all know who that one little animal is, and we all hate him. Well, some of us hate him. That little white rabbit, Angel. Mm. I mean, really? She takes care of you! And you just treat her like... Ah! I mean... He makes me so mad. I just want to... <sighs> Sorry about that. But on a side note, let's skip to my favorite part. When Fluttershy gets all badass and tells the dragon off. As she comes over her fears to help her friends. But in the show, at the end, maybe not. I love Fluttershy. When she gets all mad, it's still so cute. <laughs> Fluttershy! Now, there are two episodes about Spike and dragons. One of many I hope to come in the future. One about Dragon Quest. This episode talks about the Great Dragon Migration. Ugh, oh, I love the Dragon Migration. Get to see all my old, old friends, old relatives, but moving on. What I like about this episode, it actually shows that Spike does wonder about his origins. So, he joins the Dragon Migration. His journey leads to a volcanic area and sees a bunch of teenage dragons who make fun of him for his size and lack of wings. To me, I don't see what the big deal about wings are. I don't have wings. Hmm. I don't need to fly. Spike goes through a series of challenges to prove that he is a dragon like them. To be part of the group, in other words. Which he performs poorly, but at the end he does prove he is one of them. But during the egg raid, he turns on his mean teenage dragon friends, standing up of those who cannot. But sadly, the ponies step in and become the heroes. I mean, really? Really? Couldn't you, like, I don't know, make Spike the hero? Proving Twilight that he can take care of himself on his own? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's go back. Spike heads back with Twilight... And the rest being happy to call himself a pony. 
okay? I still want Spike to be happy about being a dragon too, but I digress. Now, the next episode, Secret of My Excess. We all seen this episode, so no spoiler alerts. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. But this brings me to the cooking part of my video. The episode shows it's Spike's birthday, which Spike uses to get gifts from many ponies. This causes him to become greedy and makes him grow into a monstrous size. Yeah, go Spike. But did you know they use themes for this episode? Like from Godzilla and King Kong. The rampaging of a giant monster throughout the city. And a kidnapping of a maiden in distress. A.K.A. Rarity. Now let's get to the cooking or baking part. Yay! My favorite part. In the episode, we will see the cakes give Spike a sapphire cupcake. So let's get started. I'm going to make it easy for you guys. Because I know there's a lot of younger audience out there watching YouTube episodes, yada, yada, yada. So, the following you will need. Vanilla cupcake mix or vanilla cake mix, eggs, vegetable oil, or whatever the box says to use in the back. A mixing bowl, a mixer, a cupcake pan, blue food coloring, blue rock candy, and vanilla frosting. Read the box to see what temperature to preheat the oven. Now gently pour the mix into the bowl. Add the eggs and oil to the mix and then use the mixer to mix it well. When it's fully mixed, spray the cupcake pan with baking spray so the mix won't stick to the pan. Then using a measuring cup, then pour the mix into the pan. Make sure it's all even and then put it into the oven. Now for the frosting, scoop it out with a spoon, put it into a bowl, add the blue dye. Only a few drops to make it into a nice light blue. Now as the cupcakes bake, let's talk about what I think should have been done for Spike in My Little Pony. Okay, we all know that Spike was hatched by Twilight using magic. But where did it get where did they get that egg? At night, Spike was wondering this. It made him think, what kind of dragon is he? He goes to Twilight and asks her lots of questions. This even made her think and wonder, what kind of dragon is he? Where did Princess Celestia get that egg? So they turn to, the, so they turn to Princess Celestia. And she points out to them to go to the old castle in the Everfree Forest. She asks her friends to help them look through the castle. He went from room to room. Finally at the library, they look at every single book. All the shelves were empty, all the books on the floor. They found nothing. This saddened Spikes. Spike, I mean, sorry. About to give up, Fluttershy reaches for the last book, which opens a secret passage. It was too dark to see. But millions of bats fly out of there, which scares Fluttershy. The poor little deer. Hmm, poor Fluttershy. As they go down the hall, they find another room, another library, filled with scrolls and books. And they look through all. In the center of the library, they found a giant book filled with maps of Equestria. All different ones. Even a map leading to the Crystal Empire. 
on the last page, Spike finds a map to Dragon Nest. They rip the page out and go back to Twilight's castle. And Twilight's going to do what Twilight does best. Research. She finds many drag dragon nesting places, but one is unknown. They begin their journey. They, to the all the different kind of dragon nests. They find many and learn all the different things about dragons. They finally reach to the unknown ne nesting place, but sadly, it was empty. Looks like it had not been used in years. They look around, and Spike steps on something and makes a crunch sound. He looks down, and he sees pieces of the same egg he was hatched from. This does make Spike happy, because now he knows where his egg came from. But sadly, he's still a little bit sad. There's no dragons around there. As they head home, Spike giggling and happy, they wonder why, and Twilight asks him why he's happy. He says to Twilight that they did what no other pony ever did. They went to dragon nests. They actually learn about dragons. Where they came from. What, what they do. Everything. When he re arrives home, he grabs an empty book. A quill and ink. And begins to write. He wrote down everything he learned, everything he's seen, all the different types of dragons. Later, after he finished, he closes the book and titles it, Dragons, Breeds, Nesting, Eggs. He gives it to, he gives it to Twilight. She reaches over. And was amazed how detailed it was. So amazed that she sent it to Princess Celestia. And she replied back. This is a proud moment for her. She's very proud of Spike. That he was the first dragon to ever write about his own species. And make it into a book. Ooh, that must be the cupcakes. Now, let them dry, well, cool off for at least 10 minutes. And after, they should look something like this. I want to thank you all for watching my video. My name is Oracle Truth. Thank you for watching Wicked Truth Facts. Peace!